So in today's OBS tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you could fix a situation where maybe you did a screen record, but whenever you watch it back on your computer, you notice that the entire screen is not recorded, but instead only a portion of the screen is recorded. So all of this has to do with video settings within OBS, and I'm going to show you how to set this up correctly so you get the correct resolution for your screen records. Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this channel, you'll learn how to be creative and I'll teach you the tools you need to create. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the situation that we had a little bit earlier. And so within OBS, I did a screen record and I kind of figured that it would record everything on the screen. But whenever I watched the video, I noticed that it didn't get my entire screen. So if I expand this, it got only like a portion of my screen and then this part was actually cut off. So if I watch it now, you know, you'll notice that it only gets a portion of my screen, which is definitely not what I wanted, you know. So what is the problem here? I thought I did a screen record and it should have got everything. Well, the problem is the actual settings that I had for video, specifically the resolution. So if we go to OBS and you set up a profile, OBS will automatically put in some default settings for you. And then if you go here to settings, you can adjust that. So we'll go down here to video. And here's the important part. Your base canvas resolution is the most important part here. And then the output resolution that you want. So I kind of figured that it's gonna go ahead and record at 1080p, and then it's gonna to output to 1080p. And then you also have these other things as well. You have different uh, filter or uh, processing options right here and then you also have frames per second but really these aren't as important as the resolution and so I kind of figured that hey if I wanted a 1080p screen recording I would simply set both of these to 1080p well that is a problem it's a problem if your screen resolution the monitor that you're using is not 1080p so in this case my monitor screen goes up to 2K or 2560 by 1440. So this is where I had an issue. If you want to record it in 1080p in terms of your output, but your actual monitor or screen resolution is higher than that, you want to choose a higher resolution for your base canvas resolution. So that means whenever it records, it's going to record your entire screen. However, the output, you could have it output at whatever resolution that you like that is available. For the best value in domain names, check out Namecheap where you can get a domain for an entire year for less than $10, plus get WhoisGuard privacy protection for free. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So that was it. That was the simple problem that I had that I didn't know I had. And then once I did that and I did a recording and I watched it, you'll notice that it gets my entire screen right there. So that's my entire screen, nothing's cut off, and the output of this file is at 1080p. And so you might wanna do this, like for me, you wanna get a lower uh, resolution output so that the files are smaller, okay? That's mainly the reason I would do something like this. But in case you run into this yourselves, that is the simple solution. Just go into your video settings in OBS, make sure your base canvas matches the resolution on your monitor and normally the highest resolution that's available that's actually what you have for your monitor with your graphics card so make sure you choose that and then the output resolution choose whatever resolution that you like and so that is it for this video on how to set the OBS video settings and adjust it to the correct resolutions for your screen recordings so if you actually had any thoughts on this be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my OBS tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Goal Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.